Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Saturday morning, it's 9.55. I've sort of been dicking around this morning, getting my camera gear set up and everything. I switched the a7 IV from film mode to photography mode. So I took off the cage, I put on the grip, got the batteries all charged, and I started with the 70 to 200, but I'm carrying so much shit and it, you know because it's like wintry and it's cold and i got a jacket on and extra layers and blah 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 it gets kind of cumbersome to carry all that stuff so i took off the 70 to 200 and i put the 85 g master on i'm on my way to the final vb flea of the year it should be festive and happy because you know it's the one right before christmas so i'm just going to walk around the usual thing film get some pictures and just enjoy myself and, and maybe I'll actually look at stuff, you know, and that's pretty much it. Instead of getting that gigantic sandwich that I usually get that takes me like a half an hour to eat and I have to be hosed off with with antibacterial stuff to get the grease off, I might just go to three ships and, and get a small bacon, egg and cheese sandwich. Let's go get festive at the final VB flea of the year. Okay, so here's something that I've noticed. And I noticed it a while ago. Look at the sky. <laughs> Look, Yankee. Clouds, blue. Anywho, one thing that I noticed that I do all the time, and, and this is not so much one of those annoying things where I'm like, um, so anyways, shit like that. But every time I see a freaking dog and I approach it, I always go into my little doggy voice and I go, hello. So a lot of the video that I shoot of this kind of stuff, I have to kill the sound because I'm like, Jesus, you idiot, stop doing that. And I do it all the time. And I've already done it several times today. I just can't help it. They're so cute. Oh, the big doggy. Hello. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I was just finishing up my breakfast in three ships. So hot in there. And I can't take any of this stuff off because it's so crowded. And there's nowhere for me to put it anyways. I managed to squeak my way into a seat at the bar and just took my sweet time eating and enjoying my eggnog latte. Just about 11.30 and I don't know what I'm gonna do next. But for now, let's get back to the Forerunner and drive around aimlessly. The bad thing about eating those breakfast sandwiches is that you get all greasy. So all of my screens are just coated with grease for me swiping on them. <laughs> all right, kids. We're off. I'm going to the gun store. I'm actually selling two guns back and probably getting another one. Eh. What I did was I just went back and I converted my Glock back to stock, which wasn't too difficult. I just had to dig everything out, all the tools and everything to be able to switch the shit back. I also put the new cable on here and I'll show you that uh, here in a second since I'm at the light. So there you see, I put the new cable on there it's a braided one and i just wrapped it as nicely as i could and then used a zip tie to secure it to the entire mechanism and now you can see i've got a little right angle for this fitting now and let me tell you it worked out even better than i thought it would because it doesn't show at all like it's behind the door it doesn't cover any of the screen so a hell of a lot better off than I thought I was going to be. I mean, I can see the entire screen now and I, you know, like I couldn't before. So I'm pretty excited about that. I collected every lens wipe and microfiber cloth I could find in my house. And I threw them all into the laundry. I only used like a third of the amount of detergent that you would use for a full load. And I did not use any fabric softener or any 
it, you know, like dryer sheet or anything like that, because you don't want all that crap getting on there and wiping on your lenses. So I tried to keep it as basic as possible and wash those, and those went through the dryer. Of course, they're still sitting there now. It's not like I give a shit if they wrinkle. So it's been a pretty productive day. I probably should have eaten lunch. I'm actually pretty hungry, but I forgot about it because I was busy, so we'll see. Anyways, let's go sell some guns. Well, I'm screwed. I barely got to the first exit on the highway, and it is at a complete stop. It looks like there's an accident, and every exit, every part of the highway is completely blocked off. <sighs> Even on a nice leisurely Saturday, I can't get away from traffic. Okay, so that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, I'm on the off-ramp, but... So, it's not over yet, but at least I'm now off the highway, which is at a complete standstill for probably at least two, maybe three miles. So it was the best thing for me to get off this first exit whilst I could, because, yeah, this sucks. All right, kids. So that was successful. I did indeed sell back the Glock 19 and the Walther PPS, and I bought a SIG P365X Macro. Okay, so that's it. I'm done with guns for quite a while now. Now I just have to train and shoot and get very proficient with them, which I am, but I'll just have some fun shooting. Okay, so now I'm, I'm not gonna get back on the highway <laughs> because it was backed up in addition to the uh, Virginia Beach Boulevard being backed up the entire way to almost here. So I don't even know if I want to go on Virginia Beach Boulevard, although it doesn't show any red on this side. It just shows it all on that side, but it shows it freaking like almost all the way home. So I don't know. It's, it's only four o'clock. I might just run up here and take the scenic route and just go all the way around. So it was a pretty fun day, a very busy day. I, again, have realized that now that it's four o'clock that I forgot to eat other than, than that little sandwich I had this morning at Three Ships. So I'm pretty damn hungry. She's not going to be home for at least an hour. There's no point in me eating now because then I will have ruined my appetite for dinner or I'll just overeat and eat twice, which I don't need to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, again, take the scenic route home. And then when she gets home, I had bought a bunch of stuff to make beef and broccoli thinking that I could just nuke it really quick and, and, you know, it'd be something for me to eat when I'm just sitting around not wanting to make anything, but it's involved. So that means I got to bust out the walk and, and actually do it right. So I think maybe I'll do that. That way, you know, we don't have to sit there and think about what the hell we're going to eat for dinner. I'll just make that and, and we'll be good to go. And then it's Sven Gulli night. So I want to get that done. And I always tell myself, oh, I've got plenty of time. And then I'm racing to get downstairs by eight o'clock. And sometimes even then I'm still not done. And I got to bring the laptop down with me so that I can edit and shit while I'm sitting there. I'm not going to do that today. So I'm going to end this video now. We, we had a whirlwind tour going around and I had fun. So that's all that matters. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, Forward and up.